I showed up an hour late. Why don't you say hi to uh, yes, Steve Byrne, Steve Grace Steve Byrne. How are you? Uh, special just dropped, so make sure you don't run. Sprint. <laughs> Sprint. That's right, yeah. In fact, if there's a rail line, if there's one of those fancy Japanese rail lines that mm -hmm. works on magnets, yeah. get on that and go to your local Amazon Prime building. Go up to the chairman and say, mm -hmm. I want to watch this now unfiltered. Because when you watch mm -hmm. it on Amazon Prime, it's filtered a bunch. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So get on it. If, if they Why got do I keep super moving? <laughs> I keep moving closer. Right? I don't know. I just get aggressive. I, I'm about to kiss you. I'm going to button this with a kiss. Okay. <laughs> now, if they got a supersonic jet, meaning it breaks the sound mm -hmm. barrier, meaning it goes so fast it pushes all the air molecules together and they have nowhere else to go but burst, yeah. you do that. You go watch his specials. What's it called? Steve Burns special? I watched it. I liked it. Just don't remember the title. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did, cause we back at it again. It's the fighter in the kid. It's the fighter in the kid. It's the fighter in the kid. This is really the fighter in the kid. Come on, man. So, Steve, I, I just want to start this podcast out with saying that you smell a little bit like alcohol. So, I, I know you weren't yep. drinking this morning. So, I'm wondering what's going on. Did you tell you no, I'm alcoholic? I thought it was cologne. <laughs> You're not. Cheers! Alcoholic. Hey! Yeah. Yeah, you're, 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 I was like, man, it smells good in here. Well, Brent Bren is a heavy Ooh. drinker and clearly has a problem. Well, right. Yeah. It's going to be an ugly situation in about five sure. years. Oh, yeah. But Heart attack coming. 100%. But, um, Just steak Steve, and booze. What's going on with you? Yeah. I don't know you to drink. Uh, I don't normally. I'm not I'm not a day drinker at all, but I did Kreischer's yesterday. First Kreischer. 1130 in the morning. Was he show drinking? Up. They go, hey, do you want an Uber? I was like, what, why would I Uber? They're like, you know why. I'm like, I'll take the Uber. And you go there, I think I was on for three and a half hours. It was just- Three and a half hours? Just, we, I think we went through at least a, like a bottle and a half. We, we went through a few different bottles. We finished one of them. I know that. What was I the- I've just done a more tiger Whiskey? Thing. Oh yeah. He, he, <sighs> whiskey, he, he, he yeah. drank my tiger thing a bottle in two days? Yeah. He's like, I need more. I'm like, I can't keep up, dude. I have He's friends. like having a pet elephant. Dude, I did the Jameson yeah. whiskey tour uh, with Kreischer, that's how we, you know, we knew each other from New York, but that's when we really started to hang out. And so before the tour started, Jameson Whiskey sent us each a case. Um, we go to the first gig. It's like me and Billy Gardell and, and Kreischer. And Kreischer's like, anybody else finish their case? I'm like, I haven't even opened it. Finish the case. Finish the case. He finished a case the of whiskey. Well, He's the best of all. Time. Yeah, but I, I have two friends that if, if I open a bottle of whiskey like that at yeah. my home, <laughs> It's gone, and they drink. They will drink the whole thing, yeah. and they'll do this after the fourth one. They start to feel guilty, so they'll take their glass and they go, "Should we? Uh, one, you know, it's always that." Feel it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's test the water. Maybe one more snifter, and they call it a snifter, <laughs> a little taste, just yeah. to, just to round things off. And I'm always like, "Whatever you want to do." Yeah. But I've had expensive bottles just go by the wayside in one sitting. Oh, I'll, I'll finish this or a bottle. I'll go. Any man thirsty? Can or? you do that? Can you can you drink a whole bottle with with no me? no no? No, I'm not that. Bad, yeah. No, some people can do it, and m both my friends are pretty much sober. <laughs> pretty yeah. much. You but know. you're a wine guy. I'm a wine guy, but that means Gay I'll have guy. two glasses, <laughs> and when I'm crazy, three. Gay guy. When I, <laughs> I mean, Brian's Please all. Please don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Which, what are you? What, what's your drink of no, whiskey? He's, he's whiskey. Whiskey, yeah. Whiskey, uh, sure. I, 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 well, if I would have known. Uh, no, you come I off can't, a bender I, with I, Bert. I'm not Bert. No, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Like it, I'm not it, an animal. It went the whole day then. It was like the floodgates were open, oh, yeah. and then it was you just... Stop. Then did, I'm at the improv, the store. You don't remember doing it? I did. <laughs> I did. I showed up an hour late for George Lopez's podcast. Well, that's the problem. So that's George <laughs> Lopez. He, yeah, I'll legend. tell you. Legend. Yeah. Legend. It was the first time I actually hung out with... Couldn't be nicer. Great guy. Sweet guy. Great guy. Don't really remember much. Just <laughs> pockets of like, oh, he's, he's cool. Yeah, like, that right. kept coming through my head. I'm like, he's a really nice guy. Now, do you think he said the same when he left? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of Just the like great, a Korean water ghost that comics, flew in and flew out. One of the great comics, period. One of the great oh, man, comics. Lopez. Well, you know what I think is fascinating about Lopez? Everything that um, Conan O'Brien was victimized for during that late night war, everything that the media said, look at what Conan, Conan... It actually did happen to Lopez. Like, Lopez is the biggest casualty of that moment in time with the late night Why? wars where... I totally forgot about that. Well, 
you know, the whole thing was Conan's going to be asked to move back. And then uh, with Leno, remember, he was, can you go back? Because remember, he got like the half job hour something? with Leno. And then Leno was like, actually, I'm going to come back. Mm. And then they pushed C Conan back, right? Exactly, yeah. And then Conan ended up getting the boot, right? And so Lopez is over at TBS. And he's, his show is, by all metrics, like doing really well. He was... He was kind of like breathing a new, uh, kind of like almost like Arsenio to me, where he yeah. was doing these street parties and doing a lot of fun things and inventive things in the space of late night. And then, uh, and then Conan came over to TBS, so they actually bumped Lopez back. So Lopez, I think with Grace and, and uh, just being a total team player on behalf of the network, absolutely great to have Conan here. He's the lead in. And then Lopez gets bumped back. Then he starts losing viewership. And then they give him the boot. Yeah. And Conan was the one that, that stayed. So I, I think everything that you read about at the time about Conan being the victim, it's like, well, actually, that all actually well, happened. lost their actual to, gig. To Lopez. Which was Lopez. Lopez is actually the one who He lost it, yeah. Apparently, Lopez grabbed Robin Williams, threw him up against a wall. Really? He said, you're doing, you did half my act. Was that Robin Williams that he said that about? No, I know who you're talking about. It's, um. Oh, oh Carlos Mencia. Yeah. No, 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 no. Was it Mexican oh, on Mexican crime? It was, yeah. Was it German okay, on I don't Mexican wanna, crime? I don't, uh, okay, right. I don't want to throw... <laughs> Am I right? I don't want to beat a dead horse over there. I, I can't remember who it was, but... No, I don't think you're being a dead horse. I don't think anybody's talking what about What quinceanera did this occur at? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's your question, yeah. Well, what, you know, you know it's funny. Market I was watching. Happen? I was watching Late Night, and I was watching yeah. Johnny Carson. And if you watch that back you then... No, I was just on YouTube runs. My dad was watching the reruns. The best. The best. But but what's interesting is that when you watched a in your movie 30s. star, when in you your watched 30s, a movie you star, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you watched a movie star show up. Like Frank Sinatra. It was so, but we never we never heard from them. You'd see them in a magazine, but that was all it. of a sudden, somebody like Robert De Niro was on Johnny Carson. Sure. And everybody would tune in to see five minutes of this mysterious creature sure. that lived in Hollywood. It's a unicorn. You would net now you can see them playing a character. You can see the questions. You can see them on TikTok. It, they got Will Smith, like it, it, you know, on yeah. TikTok, you know Instagram, like yeah, yeah, making yeah. eggs. Like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Eats eggs. Yeah, but <laughs> now, now, now with long form podcasts, you could never get away with that. People are like get this phony. They're not even gonna watch. Well, it. that's why a yeah. lot of actors you don't see on long form podcasts. It's, it's, you can keep the act up for so long. Like we don't have a lot of actors on it. No, we've had them on before. It's like. Hey man, yeah, give us some real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that interesting. No, there. We went through a period so where we had a lot of actors, and it just ended up being we had a booker's fucking actor, boring actor, actor, yeah. actor. And I was like, oh, does anybody have a? a no, I want I want the guys who actually have. I don't want you. To, I don't want the guy who down. plays that character. I want guys who were that character. You know, sure. Yeah. But if you're gonna do it, come as fucking the Joker. Play the joke. I want you to be the Joker in yeah. character for an hour. Yeah. If you're gonna do that, right? Shoot Callan in the face at the end of the interview. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Shoot me in the face. Callan says one line, just like it's the Joker. Goosh. Yeah. <laughs> just like it's the actual movie. Heck a douche. Yeah. But that's uh, not to pigeonhole this, but uh, that's why I called the special the last late night. The, the, this new hour I have is because it was like an homage to the dying art form that is. The late night talk. That's show. why I loved your special because different. You know, everyone else is. There's only so many ways you can do a special. And I agree. Was the yeah. First time where it was different, and also had a uh, kind of a tribute to that, like late night, like that Johnny Carson vibe. Like you're in a tuxedo. Yeah. Like I tried to talk him out of it, Bubba. I tried oh, to talk him out of it. Oh man, I, I was so you did. I was so into it. I know. And he said you're so, so wrong. You. And I was like, I know, but it might be dating. Callie goes, oh, no. nobody wants to see this Dean Martin bullshit. Oh, I, and I'm just sitting did there I going. Say that? Yeah, uh, well, that's when that's when the special was called uh, "Apes Are Not That Complicated." <laughs> that, and then Apes are you had, simple. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And then we switched. <laughs> also on Amazon, got together. Also on Amazon Prime, but now you can find complicated apes on YouTube. Apes are stupid, along with man tears, which I never promote. <laughs> fuck. No, I loved it, and I but I love that time period. Like that's that's my thing. I wish I was the best alive back then. Oh, I but, love it. But it's also like, I think that, you know, when you have the concept, it's like, then you understand, it's three styles of writing, right? It's quick one-liners, monologue, storytelling, and then traditional stand-up, which any of us could do, right? But then I don't think people realize it's like, oh, you're a comic, just, just go roast them. You're a comic, go, go do crowd work. It's like, being a comedian doesn't mean you're, you can do all those things. They're Correct. all muscles. And so the, the one-liners... 
I worked really hard at that with Argus Hamilton. He, I was like, no, look no further than Argus Hamilton. Yeah. He's the fucking best. But that's why so I like this was a throwback. Stuff. Like those one-liners, like those monologues. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I, lo I loved it, man, to be honest. Argus, Thank you. Here. I loved it. Argus, I, he's great, man. What a character. So relevant. He's the best to be in the green out. room with because you can talk about all the old school stories. Oh, yeah. The best. Oh, yeah. oh. And who was who was yeah. uh, who opened for Sinatra forever? Um, Tom Dreesen. I, I I was on the plane with Tom, and what a great the guy. nicest. What a great guy. Tom Tom is He's still getting up at the laugh factory. Funny, yeah. Oh, still oh, funny. Still oh. killing it. Oh, dude, he handsome the laugh as it gets. And it's just it's a throwback, but crush it. Yeah. He's Whole a, host. He's a crushes. Killer. He's a killer. Unbelievable. Yeah. To killer. to be you know, it, I don't know. Like when I first passed at the comedy store, the old guard were all still there, like all Mitzi's guys. And who were those guys when you were coming through? Oh, like, God. Who's your old guard. I, I, who's, who's I, that I class, can't, dude? Like, oh, God. I, I, Argus has always been there. But Argus was the one that always stayed relevant. Argus kept writing. He was always mm -hmm. keeping with the times. Uh, and then other comics, they were still doing like Bush material and like Reagan stuff. I was like, guys. Yeah. What the? It's 40 years since then. It's yeah. crazy. Like, you would have. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just. You're old. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> no, I, dude, I felt that what, <laughs> one of my last, set, what, one, last time I was at the comedy store, I had to follow a guy. He did, uh, I'm going to say who it is. I'll tell you off here. Literally, uh, his Bill Clinton impression. I was like, no. Hey, bro. Yeah, I've seen that. that. I know who you're talking about. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, man. It yeah. didn't go well. I'm like, yeah. yeah. You ever wrote <laughs> anything since that? That was, in, what, 96? Yeah. Yeah, there's, the there's fuck? a lot yeah. of that. But you I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, well, that's how I mean, it goes. Th I think the largest thing about stand-up is you've got to break your patterns, too. you got to just... You, it never gets easy. Like, it never gets easy. I just went through the worst writer's block. I just got out of it. I had fucking writer's block for six months. I, I couldn't fucking write. When you write, uh, do you say... No, no, no. Can okay. I, have I done a penguin? Okay, dude, that's have old. I done a penguin? That's old shit, and I'm not doing that anymore. I hold, I hold, I, I get in a horse stance. Sure I get in a horse stance. I take a hemp rope and I tie my my I tie my genitals to one tie leg. The root. It tie the root. I tie the root down. It hurts really bad, and but I get it keeps the creative me, juices. Keeps me honest. Yeah. Keeps me honest. And then I and I stay there until I come up with a joke. So it's yeah. not easy on my legs. My lower body is screaming. But yep. you know what? If it wants to keep, if it wants to stop screaming, write a fucking joke. Ryan. Discipline. <laughs> Right, guys. Ryan will waterboard himself. I'll waterboard yeah. myself. Yeah. Whatever it takes, get the That's jokes, right. Dude. I pay. I pay guys. I get a bunch of guys at Home Depot. I have them come over to the house. I put a cloth over my head, and everybody gets a piss uh, until I come up with a joke. So I really push myself. I really, really push takes. myself. Whatever it takes, guys. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll get you. That'll get you thinking and writing real quick. His right? next special. His <laughs> next special just called piss. piss. Yeah. <laughs> These jokes written by Stranger piss. P. Uh, at, at your age, does your bladder weaken though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with your bladder. It has to do with your prostate getting bigger, apparently. Oh, I'm pushing. It hasn't happened to me yet, but my dad, we're on the golf course, just pulls his dick out, starts pissing. I go, What are you doing? He goes, Pain in the ass. I'm old. So my prostate's I'm with your dad. I love, wow. I love peeing outside. Just I, I feel like a real rebel. You're yeah. like a hell's angel when I piss outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it, dude. I'm just going to piss right now. How, how old are you, dude? 48. Oh, that fucking Asians, dude. Oh, like, how old do you think Jesus, dude? Hey, uh, that's a, that's a good 63? He <laughs> just turned 63. Just turned 63. <laughs> Man, you're close. He looks old. He, he looks, looks old. Yeah. Callan. White people age like fruit. 55, man. all right? Things have been tough. You look good, 55. Really? Callan, you look fantastic at 55. Listen, yeah. Listen, Honestly, yeah, in yeah, all we sincerity. Give him shit, but daddy, yeah. daddy, is, uh, daddy woke up with a crazy boner this morning and i thought i he, still got you it. always tell us that but you know the last three years you Apparently know that's a good that's last, a good sign last few years father time went yeah, yeah father time that hit face me. father time hit me you, went, get you, get old, went, you need a few more wrinkles on forehead like like technology age starts becoming exponential like you know the next year you can't see your eyes are fucked up so right right just, I, um, I i've always played uh ice hockey adult league yeah and it wasn't until this past season i was skating my light my legs just they just stop. They go, out. we're done. We're done. You can't, like, you. I, I, I go 45 seconds on a shift, and then my legs just stop. I, I know, can't but that's, move. That's because you, you live on Waffle House, and you don't really exercise. I, I, I and respect And you this, decide to play 
ice hockey once every two weeks and you wonder why your legs are like i don't Lacking i'm not used to this yeah. Used to it? yeah you gotta kind of hockey's gotta, hard yeah it, there's, it's a daily jump maintenance rope. you see you, you it's I've not seen. the same it's a well, daily brian, co- brian called me when you guys were in nashville do, doing the pod and he's like you should see steve diet i'm like yeah what's he eating he tells me i'm like God, I respect them. Yeah. <laughs> I eat like you an. You thought eight I was gonna go bad on. I was like, man, twelve thirty. Well, that's why I told you because you do the same thing. Twelve thirty at night. I'm like uh, this sometimes. guy. You and you and Brendan. No, you guys, but you, I'm apple I'm really pies. Not like that. It, it, He'll go to McDonald's at twelve thirty. Show McDonald's. up with a fucking there's, there's whole a thing. right there. Just went. He'll eat the whole thing at twelve at night. I'd be like, oh my god, I could never handle that. Oh, but you're you you're. I, I stay with you, and yeah. you'll throw a steak on yeah. at one in the morning. And a wheel of cheese and like drinking yeah. bottle of wine. You think you're better than us? Those days and then are we'll over. Complain about like, do my face. I'm Guys, those days are over. Those days are over. <laughs> no, if I, eat, if I eat a steak and drink one glass of wine at night now, you, like a, you wake up like a sharp head. Oh no, I'll wake up at three in the morning. Like, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's so hot. I'm in the hair. It's a hair. No, 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 my body. Mm. You can just eat and sleep. Yeah, yeah. But you still you still work out quite a bit. Yeah, you, both of you guys do. I, mean, I haven't lately. I've been really sad and stressed. But yeah, I hear you. Mm. What is your go-to, your guilty pleasure? What well, used to be uh, sweet ice cream was my number one downfall, but um, I have real sensitive teeth because um, I was using like that bullshit like woke charcoal uh, toothpaste and it ruined my teeth. Like, oh, really? They're so sensitive. It's woke. But, yeah, it's super woke, yeah. <laughs> no, I bought this. Nan- I know I got it from Nancy Pelosi. No, I, I did. Nancy Pelosi's husband sold me this toothpaste, and there's, it's just like charcoal. And I was like, oh, this is supposed to be better for you. There's Hold no on. fluoride Nancy in it. Nancy Pelosi's husband, yeah, I sold it. He had toothpaste, yeah. That, that's how he's like a, a multi-billionaire. That he and he toothpaste? sells underwear and hammers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, so I use that weird like hippie toothpaste. Not the Republican toothpaste. No, no, that has fluoride. That's why everyone's teeth is so white. But uh, <laughs> no, I use that toothpaste, and then there's no yeah, fluoride. Yeah, the Republican toothpaste. You use it, and you deny elections. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Republican. I use whatever toothpaste DeSantis is using now. But no, I uh, it ruined my teeth. They got really? like so sensitive. So I can, it's actually a blessing disguise. Jokes on you because now I can't have sugar. <laughs> I lo- I've yeah, had sugar fate. in forever. Ah, nice Brennan's try. Brennan's teeth. Nice try, Satan. Brennan's teeth are such a minefield. Like it's going to be so bad if he doesn't do something. And I mean, what do you mean? This doesn't help. You. So oh, you you chew yeah. His teeth, his yeah. bites all fucked it, up. His his enamel's all gone. It's going to be pain, bro. The pain's coming. Never Get your Invisalign. Pain. Nah, never. I got two more weeks. Fuck you. 20 days. I got 23 days. I'm so sick of your Invisalign. <laughs> I, I would have done it if you didn't do it. I don't think it's tracking. Oh, no. You don't I think thought, it's working? I can see from here. No, the bottom teeth still look like a city skyline. I can see from it's here. It's a problem. Yeah. But, but then I'm going to have them whitened. Yeah. I'm going to have them, that makes I them guess, more sensitive. manicured. But yeah. when do you get fitted for the... Then you, then the you wear a retainer yeah. at night... You piece when of you shit. When you get that, what? Then you get These are real night, questions. You piece of, you ageist piece of shit. Why, why is it okay to be, you can't be racist, you can't be well, transphobic, but you can be <laughs> ageophobic. Well, Sorry? Agephobic. No, we I'm just an said old how man. good you look. I just think you said, fuck the Invisalign, just get. Sub primal. Just, no, just get, uh, yeah, right, remember that? Yeah. No, just get um, veneers. Yeah, you could do that. They look when, like when you park in a handicapped spot, though, people are like, oh, God like you get what? Damn it. <laughs> when you get out, they're like, yeah, of course you need it. I do park. Yeah, no one's like, I hey, do dude. Park, I never park in a handicap, but I park illegally all the time because I roll the dice. I roll the dice, and once in a while, I get a whopping. I have a hard time. Worth it? No, don't act like you're badass. You just went on <laughs> I'm a, a badass. A whole, I'm a, I'm you just a, went a, a whole rant about your Invisalign. I know. There's nothing badass about that. I know. I know, I know, I know. Fuck, I've just never. Steve, you way, since, since you were young, you would eat like that. Like, is that where it comes from? Because when I was a kid, my parents. Like, I'll answer the just question. Just get the calories. Yes. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll That's answer the question one hundred percent. Ryan grew up in like you know I don't know fucking. I grew up. I grew up around aristocrats. But you know, traveling like in Iraq and. <laughs> what did the chef yeah. prepare for me this so there's morning? No did, but for me, my parents were like, dude, whatever you're gonna eat, we're, we're gonna you know, so I had fast food all the time. I love fast food. I love it. I love In and Out. I love Arby's. I love Arby's. So underrated. The curly fries. Oh my. God, the apple turnover? Oh, come on now. God damn it, dude. Hey, hit the showers. Guys, what's up? But Brian, when when you go to the Golden Corral (laughs) from 8 to 10. (laughs) Before you see the matinee. I don't like this podcast. Googling soft foods. 
I love me. I'm just kidding. Let me <laughs> so just my your, your, go, your go to's In and Out Arby's? I love In and Out. I love pizza. Pizza's probably my go to. I fucking love favorite pizza. Have you found good pizza in Nashville? Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'll that's that. a tough no. one. Yeah. yeah, that's been tough. But the hot chicken. I mean, yeah, they're good. That's my go to. Yeah. Hey, I, the uh, taco place. What's that place called? Oh, uh, Mojo Tacos. That place. It's got something to say. Brian, by the way, just turn me up if you want to. <laughs> that place has got. Keep talking. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I'm going to come and beat you up. <laughs> Steve, Steve has road rage and picks fights. Are you still doing that? Because I don't want you to do that. What are you talking he about? He has anger management? Oh, my God. You have to go to anger management? But the problem is he'll pick a fight and then get his jaw broken. I need you to God stop doing it. that with people. Hey, man. Are, that was years ago. I know, but you're a hothead, and I've seen you in the car. I've seen you fucking yelling at people. Brian's a hothead, too, though. No, not, not in the car. Mm, I'm a hothead. I'll fight. Hot. Brian's a hothead. I get angry, but, yeah, but yeah. not, not, not uh, road rage. I, I don't do that because I don't know if the guy's a gun. Right. If I'm going to fight, the only time I'm going to I'm going to fight is if there was a guy tailgating me with my children in the car, and I was going to kill him. I That's was going to kill him. I, I waited. I followed him to. Uh, I don't want to get into it. Did you have an Invisalign? In <laughs> I get Did angry you have thinking about it. In? No, no. And I was uh, I was younger, and uh, oh, I was younger. I, a younger. You I mean, said to yeah. my girl at the time, you I said I'm I'm willing to take the jail time right now. I'm going. No, yes. really. No, I was going to do something bad. And then I slew him. No, I didn't. But I. Uh, no, then I shot him. No, it just didn't work out because I don't want to talk about it. But let's talk about it. So, so, Brian was like, I'm not angry. Listen, there was a time I was going to kill yeah, this yeah, fucking. Yeah. Well, he was tailgating my children in right. his huge truck, like this far away from my, my children. Just pull over. Could you have sped up, you think? Huh? Could you have just got out of the way? Right? No. A Ford um, Fiesta only goes so fast. Right? Yes. And I was. <laughs> I was in a rickshaw. <laughs> I was pulling it. It's the new year. It's you're the on, new year. You're on the road this week, right, buddy? I am. I'm on the road. I got I got you're in Mike San Diego? Drop Comedy Club in San Diego. It'll be fun, buddy. It's gonna be fun. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I'm I got in Vegas this Fort week. Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're in Vegas and I'm in Wise Vegas. Guys. Wise Guys this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sin like City. It. Tiger Thick will be available at all shows, Ooh. but it sells out fast, so Make sure you get your tickets early to grab that bottle of Tiger Thick. Mm. So that's Vegas this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Brian's in San Diego. Come get you some. Mike Drop Comedy Club, and then I got Fort Wayne, Indiana after that. Now, look, it's the new year. Okay. okay. And it's got something cool. It's got the new year all you, a hub for everything you need to start the year right. But are they doing big discounts? Throughout January, you get 20% off select supplements and nutrition, 10% off select wow. fitness, and 50% off digital like items. streaming fitness? Yes. You don't have to go to the gym anymore? That's the best This value. also means Alpha Brain uh, is there for you guys as well. To and support that your focus. Is a huge discount. Yep. For a training you can do at your crib, join the new year All You On It 6 Challenge, a six-week workout and lifestyle program with over $36,000 in prize money up for grabs. The challenge helps you connect with others in the On It community so you can support each other and achieve your goals. Yeah. For more information to unlock your savings, go to onit.com slash F-A-T-K. All right? Again, that's onit.com slash F-A-T-K. You get 20% off supplements. 10% off select fitness items, 50% off digital items, and you know you get Ooh. that deal on Alpha Brain. That's on it.com slash F A T K. You're you welcome. Go. Now let's get back to Peace. the program. But you don't you don't seem like an angry guy. No, I'm not by nature an angry person by, by any means. No. no. But uh but I, I look, I I think it's like the rare occasion that you know you get poked, it's like, you know, it's like zero to sixty. But it's it takes so much to well, get Well, you're to that you're point. a very fair minded traditional guy very courteous and respectful. i think when yeah and respectful and i think classy, when somebody yeah. is Steve's disrespectful I think, well, I think steve i think classy he, yeah he's he's, yeah. he's a traditional that's why I like your he's oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Oops. <laughs> he's a very he's a very traditional uh, he's a traditionalist and and very very cognizant of people's feelings always gives people the benefit of the doubt but when people are dicks or they're rude now you're usually out of the you'll, you usually you step no you go all right that's fine you don't do anything until until I think they kind of force the issue and then then you the, see red then you, you earn the anger yeah. yeah then you become Bruce Wayne yeah yes but not as rich <laughs> but I also Definitely like not. I also like Steve that because Steve isn't going to train in jujitsu or boxing but he will fight you right now <laughs> like he will fight you right now. No, train. to train. no training. No training. No training whatsoever. Fairly, on the ice. 
Yeah, no. So I'm not actually getting fucked up. Well, the my my I, I think I talked about, it, but the best fight I ever I was ever in was the black guy in the elevator, and I pulled the shirt oh, yeah, over his head. Hockey style. Hockey style. Yeah, and I was like, oh, he definitely doesn't know hockey. <laughs> 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 well, you were with a racist girl, right? She was oh yeah, a racist. oh yeah. She dropped the end bomb. Yeah, well, in the elevator. That's, yeah, that's white a girl. Problem. White girl. Yeah, yeah. Were you like, were you just standing there? She dropped the end bomb. Like, whoa, who the, fuck, who the hey. fuck does that? Oh, yeah, we're in a yeah. Sears elevator. Who does that? When yeah. you look at somebody, you go, <laughs> "You're a <laughs> giant asshole." Like, who does that? Yeah. Hey, are we in 1950? You fucking like. I'd be like, <laughs> but wait, why did she? What it was just out of the blue. So I, I think I I don't know if I I told the story on, on the but but basically. I was with Sebastian. We met some girls after show. This is years ago. We're both single back then. Uh, we all hook up. I say I'm going to walk the girls to their car. Gentlemen. The girls Gentlemen. are in the elevator. And in the lobby, there's a, a guy holding the door open. And he's with four or five other guys. So, you know, he's a black guy. And so it's it obviously pertinent to the story. So so basically, he's talking or talking or talking or trying to get her number, trying to get her number. She's like, I'm not giving my number. I slip under his arm. I'm like, all right, guys, you know, I told the guy. Yeah, but let's like, have stuff. a good night. Yeah, let, let's let's wrap this up. Uh, he's not. I don't. I'm Patrick Swayze in Ghost. I'm, I'm not there. I'm a specter. So he keeps talking to her. Come on, girl. Come on. Give me your number. Give me. She's like, I'm not giving you my number. You and then she dropped it. Jesus. He walked into the elevator. The door shut. He goes towards her, and I'm like, "Oh fuck!" Now I gotta. So we both grab each other, and it's one of those things. It's it's an elevator. Like this is make or break, right? Shirt goes over the head. Pop, 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 pop. Goes down. Chill, dog. Chill, 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 dog. Chill. That's what I hear. I know. And by the way, an urban lingo. <laughs> chill, dog. Chill, homie. By the way, it's all what? we knocked the elevator off its moorings or something. So now we're stuck. I'm hitting him. Sarah Smiles by Hall & Oates is playing. So anytime I hear that song, I have like PTSD. Great anytime I'm in a Walgreens or a CVS. You suck somebody. <laughs> so, I'm so, so then he gets back up and he pulls his shirt over and I'm like bracing myself against the wall. I'm like, the girl's crying. I'm like, he's going to come at me again. And he's staring at me. He's looking at me. He's like the fuck and i go oh here he comes and he goes were you on bt's comic view i'm like yes i was he's like That's you did the bruce lee i'm like fuck yeah hell yeah dude and uh then we started talking and he was super cool, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't remember that part of the story and then you yeah. guys beat up the girl <laughs> the then we i yeah. towered her um <laughs> but then the, then we hear the elevator go and we go back to the lobby as soon as the doors open his boys rush in pop 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 shirt ripped i'm bleeding here i'm bleeding here he goes no, no guys guys chill he's out chill BT. out he's a comic view remember bruce lee they go oh shit and then Jeez. they all take off the lobby guy the hotel guy says i just called the cops the girl is Damn. crying i want nothing to do with this fucking girl yeah and i'm standing in the lobby, bleeding, shirt ripped, Sebastian Maniscalco comes out of the business center and he's just holding a cappuccino and goes, the fuck happened to you, guy? <laughs> <laughs> Literally two minutes. The whole thing happened and like, it was crazy. The fuck what happened happen? to you? <laughs> what? I love what? He just left He me. didn't even say what? What? What, what, what happened to you? What the happened to you, guy? <laughs> it's crazy. Hiding. Hiding. <laughs> Hiding. <laughs> Aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah. Oh my God, he he's a great story. He's the best. That's what hilarious. a great no, story! So I got in a fight. I was in a fucking elevator with these Russians, and they said, "You are, you must, we must break you." And I said, "Guys," and I dropped. You said a, not in eight full flights. I, I, well, I dropped a smoke bomb, and uh, here we go. Yep. Yep. There we go. And they, Fantasy they time like, with Oh, Ryan I don't Talent. see nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> and, and I went. <laughs> I went to work. Yeah. I went to work because the smoke rises and then I go low. Yeah. And I and I go with my little I little stiletto. I have a small stiletto. Yeah. And I just what I is cut that? their uh, oh it's a Spanish for stiletto. And I and I <laughs> and I cut their uh, Achilles. And I go, not gonna do sports for a while, guys. Yeah. And then they all <laughs> fall to the ground. Wrestling. They all fall to the ground, and then I just walked out. Wow. So that's my story. What was the last fight you've been in, Brian? Um I don't know, a long time ago. Yeah. I don't. I, uh, I will avoid twenties. Who fights? I'll avoid especially fights with cell phones out there. I don't. Calls. Oh my god! Can you imagine? That's why I, I know it's a current event. That's why, like with the Dana White stuff, it's like, bro, you know everyone has. You're so famous. Yeah. You know everyone has cell phones. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just it's you know, Dana. You know he's not. He's a smart dude. Dana's yeah. a very smart guy. Like yeah. you know oh, that no. when you walk in. You know, have you not seen this? No. 
I haven't seen this. Oh, okay. So that's his wife. They've been together 26 years. Oh, no. So he oh, said something to his wife. I think he said, I'm going to pay Francis. And she went, oh, I'm, I'm a Brendan Shaw listener. Oh. And then he <laughs> slapped her. And oh, so he my God. So her. And then there's a oh, kick. Oh, no. And, see, that kick is where it gets dicey. Right? Jesus Christ. So this is all over. That's that's uh, husband wife shit that I, you know. Apparently they 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 were like we're fine. We were both drunk. We apologized to her kids. Moving on. So an hour later they're banging. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean happens. they've been together. I mean, they, all he I said know, we took it up with our kids. That's why. Yeah, they've been I, together like, I posted a long time. And I went, listen, all joke. I made a joke about it, but uh. I, I said all jokes aside, I like I like the way he handled it. Me like, Kate, hey, my wife and I we're drunk. We addressed it with the kids. Please, this is a private matter. Yeah, I okay. should have never hit a girl. And it's like, all right, I get it. The only th this is my thing with this, and I don't want him to lose his job. I don't think you should take a leave of absence from the UFC. But can you name any other person sports where if this was caught on tape, oh. say say Jerry Jones for the Dallas Cowboys was caught doing this? Name another person in a major sports league. Who could have this evidence, wife or not, whew, and would still have a job? Well, I would say that, that he's been married for I don't know how long. Doesn't they matter. made this marriage work for this long. They had a tiff. It was public. They both said, "We're we're this. We love each other. We we're we're a family. Fuck off. We're moving on." And I think most of us, all of us, go. That's a marriage that's been working for a long time. I'm not, you know, for me, out of respect. Yeah. It's like you guys handle your business. And it's too bad we caught it on tape, but it's like, I'm not going to say anything about it. I think it. if she came out and she did. said... Yeah. She shows he's never done this before, yeah. which I don't believe, but, you know. Well, I mean, I don't know what to believe. I mean, I think they I both... Hate. Well, first of all, she hit him public first. public setting? She hit him first. So my guess That's is... That's make it okay, though. My guess is it's a physical sometimes in that relationship, and there are relationships like this. It gets physical. Mm -hmm. Women can Toxic. be very physical with men, too. They get angry. They express themselves that way. It's a problem. The guy reacts. This is this is what happens in many marriages, in many relationships, and it that's a fact. Though. I agree with you, but I'm just I've saying. I've never been in a relationship with that. I'm just saying that that kind of stuff will happen. But it feels like they've been married for when you've been married that long. Years. Yeah, you got kids. No, no, Twenty six years. Known each other since they were twelve. Okay, that's a long time. I'm not about to say. Fuck all! I'm gonna let them handle their business. It sounds like she's yeah. she's there, he's there, and they they know yeah, what. I'm not doing. saying that. Be, yeah. I'm saying uh, again, I don't justify a man hitting a woman in, in any circumstance, whether they hit first or not. My 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 question is: name another figure, popular figure in sports, yeah. where that video could be shown, and they have a job. Go. I, I would say this. Mayweather. I would say when you watch. I, no, I Different. would say no, no. Think, I would yeah. say this. There, there's a, there's degrees. There's no video though. Right. Yeah, but but Bubba, let yeah. me ask you this. So when you watch that, who is that running back from the Falcons hit his girlfriend in? That's the, Ray Lewis. Oh, I'm, I'm no. sorry, uh, 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 Rice Ray. Oh my and God! And that's when I saw him on Baltimore. Yeah, when I yeah. saw him hit career. that woman like that. Yeah, I went. There is. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't care if you've known that person for twelve. Years. There's no excuse. You sure. you. With that kind of power, you swung your arm and tried to fucking take her head off. Yeah. End of story. Sorry. Yeah, he we never played again. Be. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was Dana got hit. He hit, and it was this bang, bang. They both tapped each other here, and then it got into a scuffle. Well, he pushed yeah. her down. And but I think it's a scuffle. We we all like all of us go. Uh, that's not whack or punch. There are degrees to this shit. It was a freshie. There are degrees. There's a wake up call. She hit him first. You know, it, it was a reaction. They're drunk. We've all seen this in bars, by the way. Everybody's seen that shit in bars. I'll tell you, you right now. If you bar? see, I've if, never seen that. If, oh, if that happens in a bar, fight. You should come to. You should come to New York. On that happens in a bar. That guy is getting pounded by pounded. eight, yeah, eight yeah. dudes. Yeah, a hundred percent. At least in my crew, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. He's not making it out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm, but again, my question: You gave the Ray Rice. Yeah, thing. it's not surprising, is what I'm saying. That he get he got a he essentially got a pass because he and his wife came together. And said, "We're a family. We talk to our kids. Well, we yeah. don't know if he got a pass." Oh, okay. This is new. This is this week. Well, what are they going to do? I think to his benefit is that Buffalo Bill. You watch football. That Buffalo Bills player. Sure. You know, he basically died on the field. That resuscitated him after six minutes. We never had something like that Jeez. happen. They canceled the game. That's in the news cycle. So this, this got is buried. Th this this got buried. You know, and Daniel should be thanking his lucky stars. 
Now, in the MMA community, in the world I'm in, obviously it's big news, but the news cycle is all about the Bill Safety uh, Hamlet. It's all yeah. about that. My my only, it's not even concerned. I actually, it's a private issue. I don't think you should ever hit a woman. There should be some disciplinary action taken, whether it's he misses two paper. I don't know what they're going to do. But I, he's I, also I mean, kind of like a renegade, right? He 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 doesn't play by the rules. I think there's also that kind of, I, I think like, I don't know how he handled everything during COVID. He went off the grid. He kind of came out against a lot of things. I think I, I think he has this kind of like persona where I, I'm not saying it, it negates it or it lets it be acceptable, but I, so I don't know. So let me ask you a question. Some, if two guys, if a guy hit a guy and a guy hit, 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 hit the guy back, right? Oh, yeah. None of us would be having a conversation, right? We'd be like, oh, fuck. You got to hit. Of course not. Hit. Okay. Yeah. Now this is a man and a woman, right? Yes. Right. right. Smaller female. And the woman hit him first. Yes. Merit. You take it though. Yes. I understand, dude. Yeah. I've I've taken that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We all have. But what I'm trying to say is that in this world of equal rights, we should also be talking about her who initiated that. If we're gonna talk about Dana, let's talk about his wife too. No, that's a good point. Yeah. And no, 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 because it's the it's in yeah, many it's not ways, okay for women. It is to hit men. it is the point because we are living in a time when if you're going to make a distinction between men and women, be careful. Yeah. Because it's very interesting how you have to do, you, you can make it over here, but not over here. Now, nah, let's be consistent across the board. Yeah. And we're not. Now, I get why we're not. Personally, I, I understand. Sure. There's a big difference between a woman hitting a man and a man hitting a man. There's a yeah. big fucking difference, personally. I, that's why I also don't think biological males should be in female sports, personally. Well, Dana's probably 230 yeah. pounds well, that, on, to, on, on steroids. To your point, yeah. and that's honest, my on point. Steroid. Yeah. To your point, to my point, you know? Like, I, I, I agree with that, but mm -hmm. if we're going to talk about the narrative out there, let's talk about both of them. Sure. That's important. Anyway, we've... I'd love to know what he death. said, though. No, it's good to talk about being. Yeah. What do you mean being there? This is the fucking news cycle. Yeah. We need your I've never heard of that. And, and that happened New Year's Day, right? Or New Year's Eve? Um, is what it set up there? It, it, yeah, it's it a kind New Year's of, party. It got uh, in, in Mexico. In Cabo San Lucas. Best, yeah. best punch I've ever seen thrown in a bar was a woman on a man and fucking girlfriend, boyfriend, St. Patty's Day at Peter McManus's, I think. It's on 17th Street in New York yeah. City, right in Manhattan. And I, I, when I, you're going to think I'm kidding. I saw 17 fights. And, and I remember <laughs> it was 17 because it was on 17th Street. Right. And I remember, and I remember, uh, I don't know if that bar's still there, but um, fucking uh, uh, the woman just, the guy gets in there, they're talking, and he gets in her face, and she just went, she went, it was so perfect. Big as shit, clearly yeah. a softball player, and went, <laughs> ah, and just turned, crack, and his head went, whoa, she knocked no, him out. She really? Knocked him out. Ah, he was huge, too. His head went this way, and he grabbed her. And they went into it, and the bartender was so bored with it, he was like this. He goes, guys, come on! It's St. <laughs> Patty's Day, it. it's a holiday! That was it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. The, back to this Dana thing, what I find interesting, again, I, you know, I don't want him to lose his job at, in any facet. There's there, going to be some discipline, because you're talking about WME and um, ESPN, Mickey Mouse, who, you know, Mickey Mouse, you know, they don't play any games. So they'll get to it. I'm just curious what they're going to do. But he's made a lot of enemies he had, well, I'm sure over the years. On the left. On the left. On the left. On the left. And so this is, this is going to be... It, they'll get to it. Yeah. Once, once this NFL news cycle, they'll get to it. You know, hopefully, yeah. I, I pray to God he didn't lose his job. Um, you I ever been hit by a woman? Yes. Me but too. hold on. My, my thing is, is I want you to realize how powerful Dana White is. I think everyone needs to acknowledge this. ESPN. Now, ESPN right now is running a story on the head coach of the U.S. men's soccer team that there was uh, an altercation with his wife Ready? 30 years ago, where he kicked her in the legs. They're covering that, but wow. didn't cover what happened on New Year's Eve with Dana White, who is one of the faces of ESPN. I want you to realize how far his net is casted. It might be a little bit different, Bob, because there's a big difference. If your wife comes forward and says 30 years ago he beat the shit out of me or kicked me in the legs no, 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 no. if that's the case that's very different because what happens is now in social media the the the, the victim of uh domestic crime whatever it is mm -hmm. has the story and you get a statement so just know that there is a difference in this case his wife and he together came forward and right say, this happened last saturday 
I know. The other one happened 30 years ago, and it was, uh, it, you, you got to know the facts of that story. It happened 30 years ago, yeah. and it, they, were trying to, they were trying to blackmail the coach, and he came out and was like, hold on. 30 years ago, yes, I kicked my wife in the leg. My point is, is <laughs> that is currently a running story on ESPN, not Dana White, which last Saturday slapped and threw his wife down to the ground and kicked her. Mm. Is that not strange to anybody in this room? Fox isn't covering it. Right. ESPN's not covering it. I never heard of it until today. How insane. And Dana is one of the most famous men on the planet. I'm just saying that's how powerful he is, which is impressive. Mm. It's impressive, to be honest. It's impressive. Mm. He's the face of the sport. He's the most famous guy. Yeah, he's more famous than any fighter. Because remember, fighters come and go. There's one constant. The, The two most famous people in the UFC are not fighting. It's Joe Rogan and Dana White. Right. The guys who don't fight. I don't think it's a problem because it makes sense. One owns it and he's very outlandish and he's the reason why the sports are where it's at. And then also for Joe Rogan, he's the best sports combat commentator of all time. And sure. he also has the biggest platform in the world. So he was on Fear Factor. So it makes sense. I don't think it's, it's not their fault. They're more famous than the fighters. It's just what it is. But the point is the guy who is the face of the organization has this recent video. And Who's trying to fucking blackmail this coach? What was that about? I don't, do, you, do you have that story? He was 18 years old. What's the coach's uh, name? I didn't say he was 18. Years old. Years old. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, oh, you found it? Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to So I think he came out to get in front of it. Yeah, this is what happens. People will use whatever about? they can to blackmail. He, he, he met kicking his then girlfriend, future wife, in 1991 when he was 18. Give me a fucking This is break. crazy. I'm sharing this story after 31 years because it's important to understand it was an event that shaped me but doesn't define me. It was a single isolated event over three decades ago and terrible decision made in a bad moment by an 18 year old. Wow. As a team, we emphasize accountability, honesty, and growth. Those are just principles we still instill with this team. It's how I live my life. I. I'm surprised yeah. that's even a story. Well, yeah. because he was being blackmailed, and they knew, they knew right there, that any story, no matter how old, will fucking ruin you. Not true. If, if planted fine. properly. To your point, Dana's fine. 100% true. It's 100% true. Dana, no. But for the most part, absolutely. Yeah. You know? But he's also extremely media savvy. I mean, if anybody knows Dana. Dana? The yeah, most. I, the most I, yeah, media savvy. I, I yeah. think he. You don't want to fight with that guy. I, I think he would know how to, you know, handle the optics of this. He, I, I don't think he, he needs takes, to. He takes. He, he meets the bull halfway, man. That guy will fucking. Yeah. He'll be right there, right there in your face, right there in your face. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. It's the, I know. We're giving him too much credit. I think he calls because he has heavy influence with Fox. He used to work at Fox. Heavy inf- influence with ESPN. I can tell you a story that blow your dick off about mm-hmm. ESPN and Disney going at Dana. He calls him. He goes, "Hey, here's what's going on. Right. We're not covering this. Right. Yeah, you got it." Right. It, it, it just but tough it for is me. being covered. Not by ESPN or Fox. But it is everywhere. He was, on by the MMA way, sites. to your point, TMZ? he was on TMZ, but TMZ handled it in such a way that it's like they made a deal how to, how to make the story come out, and Dana was on at TMZ, and they were kind of like cool to each other. It's a little weird. Yeah. I'm just saying, it is my uh, opti- and I'm glad he's okay. Name one other per- person in professional sports that could get away with this. I would love to hear it, Steve. <clears throat> yeah. You know sport, you got to piss... Why do you have a Pittsburgh Steelers hat on? Because I like the Steelers, yeah. He's from, you, he's from Pittsburgh. Oh, I'm from Pittsburgh, yeah. Makes sense? That's all you have to say? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just curious. <laughs> ready to argue. I was ready to, I was ready to argue. He's from Pittsburgh, bro. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah, they're good. What happened? Nothing. Yeah, what's up? I was yeah, trying to make sure you're a sports fan, you know? Got it. Okay. I'm sure you're a legit one, you know? There's there guys coming here. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, you're a St. Louis, you know, Cardinals fan? Oh, let's go to the airport. Steve, give me somebody. Yeah. What do you think? What, what's going on with Tamar Hamlin here? They said there's signs of improvement. That's the last thing I heard. Is he breathing on his own? They have to turn. See, I. They, this gets dicey, and I want to give my real opinion on it, but it. it gets I know. In the weeds. I know what you're going to say. It gets in the weeds. I know what you're going to say. All I'm going to. I'm not going to mention anything about that stuff. What I'm going to say is, it's okay for the public to ask questions of all these young athletes having heart issues. Because they. Because of myocarditis. Whatever you want. Whatever. I don't give. I don't give a fuck what it is. Whether it's in fast food, whatever it is, it's okay to go. Hold on. Why are some of these young professional athletes? Falling over and having heart issues now. What's going on here? Then people go, oh, you're just anti this. No, no. What was, no, no. I'm literally just, just asking the question. I'm, I'm not, it's not a left or right thing. I'm just, I'm just curious why these young athletes all of a sudden are having these issues. That's it. But in that moment, right, it was, it was the shock, right? The trauma of 
of literally. It wasn't even a bad hit. It wasn't a bad hit. He, he did the hitting. He's had way worse hits, man. I've seen way worse. But the the the, the helmet, his helmet drove and right into his chest. That's what they're saying, and, correct? And that did. I guess it's happened to WWF guys before where they get slammed and they fall on their chest, right? And that. You just want to make sure he didn't get any brain damage from a lack of oxygen going to his brain. Well, they say right. he's going to have lung lung damage. He is. And then there's this gentleman. Oh, I forget. Geez. He's he's on a he's on a uh, Cleveland sports show. He broke it down. He's like, here's the real issue. So he he was. I think his uh, he, he was a sixth round draft pick. I think you know but sixth round. I think six, was it yeah, six? But either way, so he, he his contract. He's like, uh, it's right over a million dollars with the eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar. Uh, bonus and then he's contracted like 120 whatever and he's saying how this kid's not set and in order to ha get compensation so you get yeah. money after you retire you have to oh. play four years yeah. basically you have to play four years yeah. and he went he broke down everything that the nfl pays out like with the ct rule that you know that was a huge issue yeah they've only paid six six percent of the former athletes only six percent of all those athletes in football who have CT, real CT, they only paid 6% of mm -hmm. what they're supposed to pay. But then the optics are, does the NFL, the NFL's got to cover these expenses, but then you open Pandora's box, right? It's like, well, you fucking did that. There's going to be, uh, to your point, Trump. you know, how many thousands of guys that are former former em employees that are like, what the fuck? I, you know, I'm sitting here. I've been filling out the paperwork. I'm reaching out to you guys. There's been no support whatsoever. So I think, uh, to your point, it'll be interesting to see what the NFL, so, they have to cover it. Of course. Well, right? here's my thing. They'll cover his expenses, but what about, like, he's screwed. Like, you know, let's say he's made, I don't know, $1.5 million after yeah. taxes. You're screwed. And you've dedicated your life to professional football, and then this horrible incident happened. Like, you're fucked. And then with Social Security, like, guys that can't walk, whatever, they have if issues. 15 percent the uh, less than fifteen percent of the NFL who applied for Social Security got it. Less than fifteen percent of that fifteen percent Social Security. Social Security. They can't walk. Mm. What, but you have to wait. Sure, Social Security yeah. or Medicaid. No, Social Security after you're fifty five. Uh -huh. From from and so you need the government to go. Yep, you're oh, disabled. But Brian, now you the walk NFL. Us now the you NFL, walk us through that because you're. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us anyway, how that goes. Yeah, well, do, but but I the NFL goes. Hold on, the government doesn't know what they're doing, even though they're experts when it comes to disability. We have our own in-house team who's going to make sure you're disabled. Even though the government goes, yep, this guy's over 55, can't walk, can't talk, whatever. You, you guys should be paying him. That phone goes, no, we'll take it from here. They have their own board that you have to see, mm. and they approve less than 15%. And then it used to be $5,400 a month they would pay you. They've lowered that to 3000 You mean the very league that denied that CTE existed? Yeah. These guys are in charge? Yeah. Okay, good luck nuts? with that. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? It's crazy. So this poor Hamlin guy, it's like, oh, dude, even if he comes out of this. You don't like, think he'll play again? We don't know. I, I don't know how bad it is. You know, but from that six minutes of CPR, you know, those ribs are broken. You know, and there's lung damage. Oh, yeah. He's not playing this year. Fuck. Jesus. Heavy shit. Fuck, dude. That was surreal to watch, though. Absolutely yeah, surreal. It was, it was awful. You had to take the camera off, and then the it commentators so were like. Sad. I felt like crying the whole time. It was like... But even when the ESPN, it's like, just cut away. We, we don't, what do we? Oh, I was like, why is it taking talking? so long to cancel this just game? Stop. What is happening? Yeah. And then NFL came out and was like, we, because the. I think they were worried he was going to die. They were waiting to see what the fuck was really going on, right? No, because they put him in an ambulance, then got him out of there. Yeah, but, but they, they waited a certain amount of time so his mom could come from the stadium down makes, to the ambulance. Yeah. yeah. Which is, I don't know what's going on there. But then the rumor came out on social media, like, the NFL officials told the teams, both head coaches and the players, hey, you have five minutes to warm up, then we're back to business. And the coaches and the team were like, fuck you. We're not playing. No. There's no way we can play. How do you right. play? But the NFL came and was like, no, we never said that. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you play. I mean, that that, that you're just fucked. You're fucked. Yeah. Well, you saw everybody on the sideline. I mean, they, they <clears throat> look like uh, absolutely stunned, shocked. Well, I, we've, Crying never, we've never seen anything like that. Yeah, never. I hope... I hope you don't see it again. Oh, it's people awful. come for Skip Bayless right Skip now. Skip Bayless, man. yeah. This is you're getting canceled. People come for this dude. So he put, no, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Dude. But you know, this is what he's paid for. He did That's say what he does. irrelevant. So, what, but watch this. So the next, so he posts that. People are so mad at Skip, right? They've been trying to cancel him forever, right? Next day he posts that. So what is that? What night is that? Is that what was that Monday Night Football? Was it? Ah. So Tuesday, 
him and Shannon Sharp do on dispute. They've had issues before. Yeah. Watch this. I watched this. Let's go, Jim. Thank you. I said over under Shannon Parts ways with Skip Bayless. Oh, under three months. Um, Any takers? <clears throat> I don't know. Skip. They've had issues before though, because Skip started making fun of kind of Shannon's career compared to Tom Brady. I know. And Shannon was like, "What the fuck?" And people were like, "Oh, this is all just you know, it's fake. They're doing this for the yeah, views." Oh, I'm yeah. like, "I don't think so." There's but clearly an issue there. That's what he gets paid to be. He's there to start fires. That's Skip Bailey. The, the same thing with, uh, God, who's the other guy? Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith. I mean, th they're throwing bombs all the time. They're there to be controversial. And so Skip Bayless, I, you're all thinking, oh, this is uncomfortable. For him, it's it's another day at the office, I'm sure. Yeah, I agree. Is, is, it, is it? Is it? He said way worse I think so. For sure. I, yeah. Like, that wasn't even that bad of a take. Well, didn't he it was get just in bad trouble? timing. Didn't he get in trouble for, for, for tweeting... Adam Skip, Dolphin. you're the man and stuff, but it was him. Oh, no, he had a burner it. account. Yeah, someone was like, uh, no, Skip, that's you don't so know this? embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, he had his own burner account. It was like, Skip, I think you're the only thing great on Fox or whatever. And then, <laughs> but it was from his account. And someone was like, hey, Skip, you forgot to use your burner account. Ah, that's embarrassing. He's all, you're the man, Skip. Like, oh, God. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, my I, God. I don't know. What do you think of his tweet? I, 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 he's definitely done worse stuff. He, to, to, but he did say in it. To Steve's point, it's like, it's kind of his gig, dude. That's well, it. it's like. Well, I thought, I watched that, Shannon. I watched him comparing him to Tom Brady, which I thought was obnoxious as fuck because yeah. Shannon Sharp is a Hall of Famer. I'm from sure. Denver, brother. Was, he's on the Ring of Fame. He, the guy. Thank you. The guy. And as thank far as you. leaders go, yeah. One of the greatest and of all Skip time. Skip Bayless, I know, is a pro athlete and one of the greatest football players of all time. And also, he's the Jim Thorpe of fucking commentator. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Skip, you don't know what the. Like, that's that was so obnoxious to me. Like, I watched yeah. that and I was like, God, you're such a dick. Like I, I I don't know what you're trying to do. Maybe maybe it's a way to get ratings, and we're all talking about it. But but so that tweet itself feels like he said he said how do you cancel a game this late in the season? Yeah. But it all does seem so re irrelevant. So I thought that was a that was I a didn't nod. think it was that bad. Yeah, it was I'm a nod always, to the gravity. I'm usually sensitive to it, but then I was like, oh, he's done way worse than this. I think it's an accumulation of everything he's done because he's a huge LeBron hater. So oh, I is? think so. You know, obviously, again to Steve's point, that's his job. Yeah. So it's like Stephen A. Smith is such a big Dallas Cowboys hater. So once they see a little chink in the armor, mm. that onslaught comes, man. Yeah, of and course. And so with yeah. the Hamlin stuff, like now's our time. It's like, man, he's done way. Yeah, worse. That, that that. But that tweet, he did say, you know, how do you cancel a game this late in the season? Um, but that all seems so. Re um, this late in season, the game of this match is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant, meaning. He is putting Hamlin above. What the, were his the, tweets the game, after right? that, Chin? Because he? He, yeah, he I tried thought that to cover was it up. Respectful? Wasn't that respectful? I didn't think it was that bad. Now, I don't think now, it was that now bad. you got to realize this too. But yeah. in this day and age of victimhood, oh, this is an comfort. opportunity to go. What the fuck? Get him! Yeah. yeah, exactly. But but here's the other thing: is um, you know why Shan Sharp's on the show? Uh, no. Skip Bayless single handed was like, "This is the guy." Okay. This is like he handpicked uh, him. Obviously, it's a cherry chair, right? Like, that. this is, I mean, one of the toughest kids to get in sports. Because remember, he left ESPN with Stephen A. Smith, came over here, and then handpicked Shannon Sharp to give him this huge platform. Yeah. So it's... it's and it, here he goes, nothing is more important than this young man's health. That is the point of my, my last tweet. I'm sorry if it was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. I mean, and he's... There you go. That, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I accept that from Skip Bayless. I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he yeah. explained his tweet. I think he was saying that. I think Shannon wanted him to take it down. And he's like, I'm, you know, he's standing, yeah, I don't know. Fuck. Uh, if you, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. What are you saying? But no, I, I mean, I, I, think with I understand Fox, I think why he doesn't want to take it down because I, I don't think it's that bad. I, I actually, it's not that bad. Yeah. Also, we know how it goes when you apologize for things. It doesn't get you out of the water. No. It, they go, oh, we can get them to apologize? Yeah. And then, especially when you're making hot takes all the time, dude. Man, Shannon, Shannon's an emotional guy, too. But I, I think he was just still pissed about that fucking Brady thing. I think he's pissed about all of it. Because you got to re remember, it's like, again, and I'm nothing compared to Shannon Sharp. He's a Hall of Famer. I, I, I will, won't be in the Hall of Fame in the UFC. But it'd be like you, you know, doubling down on something, being super in, insensitive to some, like, UFC situation. And then talking shit to me on here, I'd be like, 
the fuck are you doing? Right, it's an ad yeah. hominem attack. Yeah, like, it's like a personal attack. Well, you wrestled in high school. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm like, it's, hold on. But I rest, I do a little wrestling now. No, uh, but, you don't, but you don't say, but <laughs> like no, Skip no, no. Bayless was even a good no, high school no, that's basketball what player. Right. Well, that's what I'm Shannon saying. Sharp, his brother's one of the greatest of all time. He's one of the greatest of all time. Dude, it he, was so he was such a leader. So he was the captain of the Denver Broncos when they won the Super two Super Bowls. He went to Baltimore, won a Super Bowl. Ray Lewis was on that team. Ed Reed was on that team. Jonathan Ogden was on that team. Jamal Alpha Jamal Anderson. Alphas. Yeah, dude. He was the leader on that team. That's <laughs> Think how about that. Think about that's that. That's how alpha he is. It's like when I showed up today. No, right. you're right. you guys get it. I do. I was like, not out. You're the Thank Shannon you. Sharp of this fucking and Thank you. And you're Skip Bayless. What? I mean, with your background. Why do I have to be Skip Bayless? You have the same athletic career. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, same hot takes. <laughs> Not really. I wish you did. I wish you did. I wish you did. I can't make a fist. I wish you did. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think Skips is an accumulation uh, of just all that shit talking. And obviously, yeah. if you're a LeBron fan, whatever, Chan fan, you, now's the time. You draw the brakes of the camel's back. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But I don't think he's going to break their back. Fox is pretty, you know, that's, they paid him so much money. But this is this, this is it. We're talking about him right now. This is, this is what they want at the end of the day. <clears throat> it, it's it, what he look, wants. That, that clip got 6.4 million views. <laughs> You know, yeah. Kind of a lot. What else you got, Chin? Hot take. The Logan Paul scam concerns. People thought that he was actually scamming using something called CryptoZoo. There's a guy, what? Uh, shop? Uh, Coffee, Coffee, Coffee Coffee Zilla Zilla? that made this whole thing about yeah. it. Uh, so Logan Paul responded to that. He made a seven-minute video. I didn't watch it, mm -hmm. but he goes in. He said, you still publish a, a defamatory hit piece, fully knowing that I was innocent, just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, $10 million studio? What kind of studio is this? Uh, but uh, deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. Paul says in a seven-minute long response video published on Tuesday. Any ads here? I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're going to need it. Interesting. Whoa. Yeah, if, if Logan's actually innocent of this stuff, you know he was had a didn't know what was going on. You you should go after the guy. Well, um, my understanding is he bought they bought a bunch of tokens. I just this is my understanding. I might okay. be wrong. They bought a bunch of they created a bunch of tokens. They bought them, and then the it was based on a game that kids could play, and then they started talking about this token. That allows you to play this game. That allows you the to problem was there was no game, or the game didn't work. I'm, I'm. I don't think it's a game. It's I'd, right. I'd rather you break down <clears throat> fucking football than talk about Tampa this. two zone defense in crypto. Yeah. So yeah. Really fun game that earns you money. Yeah, but so he's so, saying it's game, but it's not a like. He, I think not he's a being game. accused of a pump and dump. This crypto, uh, crypto zoo is like. He designed it to be a game. Like that's why within crypto. And and, yeah. the, and the coins. So like you get an egg and you hatch an egg into an animal, and then you can breed those animals to make more animals. It's the stupid shit. So he was shit selling yeah, eggs. Crazy. Yeah, he was selling eggs. And those are sold. the NFT. <laughs> okay, but what I'm saying is that <laughs> is he selling game boards? No, 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 wait, wait. He's selling. But if you're selling the eggs that you previously own, you 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 create. Somebody engineers these eggs. Mm -hmm. Now you and your team own. Already thousands of them, thousands of eggs on the open market. Though, <clears throat> then four months later, you go to the you go to the public and say, "By the way, these eggs are awesome. Buy these eggs. Mm -hmm. The price goes up, and then you can sell your eggs." That would be, I think, what he's being investigated for, or is that that's what mm -hmm. the accusation is? And yeah, Logan's saying that uh, that's not the case, and okay. this guy's kind of exaggerating what exactly his because Crypto King is the one who's kind of talking about this. His partner in this was the mm. the Coffeezilla was getting all his information from Crypto King, right? Who has an agenda against Logan, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and who also made a lot of money himself. Correct. Mm -hmm. So Crypto King apparently bought. The idea was that according to Coffeezilla, Crypto King bought a lot of these. They, they, a bunch of these got bought, and they didn't know where they were. And it turned out it was Crypto King who bought them. Yeah. Right? Is that? Am I right mm -hmm. so far? And Logan and one other person are the only ones that haven't sold any of these coins. And that guy sold his before yeah. they yeah. were all supposed and to sell. And cashed out already. So that guy's the one who made the money, but mm -hmm. Logan never sold his, he never sold them. Yeah. I thought he made $40 million or some shit. Not off that. Mm. Okay. Logan said he lost money so far into making this crypto thing. Okay. Feel old yet, Steve? I'm glad, just, I'm, I'm glad to hear that shit because I like Logan Paul. Yeah, I love Logan. I'm, I was worried that it was going to come out as this terrible thing, but 
Yeah. But again, people listen. You know, a lot of people don't like Logan Paul. So now this is the thing. Get, you know, he did the dead body in the Japanese <coughs> Japan yeah, forest. Yeah, he's That's another mistake. Get him. This guy's the worst. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, oh, Any God. opportunity then? Yeah. Come on, man. But so savvy, incredibly intelligent, understands really, the nice landscape. Works and, hard. Yeah, brilliant yeah. guy. Brilliant. Hard worker. Mm. What else you got, Jen? All right, this is sad news. We actually brought up his video not too long ago. You know who Ken Block is? That really, Hell yeah, he's a I super said. famous driver. A today. Yeah, dude, I was trying yeah. to get him to a best up with him. He passed away. Yeah, in a snowmobile, snowmobile accident. accident. What the fuck? Super mad. It's like the second snowmobile, snowplower accident with, you know, pretty high level, level people. So, yeah, I guess he was snowballing and uh, snow, snowmobiling, snowmobiling and then it went up oh, somehow shit. and then upended and then it fell on top of him. Oh, yeah. God and he man. survived so much. Like he, he's, yeah. he's a wild dude. He's drifting he was, yeah. shit in Vegas. We've watched. Like, we watched that one. Yeah. So that public, shirt I wear public safety announcement. My buddy is the, runs the Catastrophic Injury Institute at West Virginia Hospital. And, and every time you see a spinal cord injury, literally I'm going down the hall. People will never walk again, ever walk again, ever walk again. People are brain dead. ATVs doing exactly that. Go, ATVs? Kids going too fast. Oh, shit. Snowmobiles, okay. snowmobiles, ATVs, all that shit. Going in the air, and it comes down on you. It's so heavy. And yeah. dude, and it, and, and it breaks people's necks and oh. backs all the fucking time. He oh, literally man. was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, how are they making these things? How are these things legal? Go put a cage around them, which they do now. Wow. Well, I, I just seen this... Uh, this documentary, it, it came out years ago, the, the Crash Reel, about, the, um, oh God, I forget the guy's name, uh, really talented snowboarder. It was Sean White's competitor for many years. And um, they were talking that, you know, when it comes to like X Games and all that stuff, they're not like regulating and saying, guys, this is too high now. Yeah. Like, we, we've got to stop doing this. And because the escalation keeps going and going and going and going further and further, uh, I forget what that what the, what's the guy's the name? Uh, the Crash Wheel. There it is. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Kevin Pierce. Okay, Kevin Pierce. Fantastic documentary. But it, it's he obviously he got he got waxed on a on a half pipe, and died. He, died. he died. No, he 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 was genuinely like banged up and it, it, thinking you're not going to walk again, uh, and his just life was changed after it. And it was it, it just documents his recovery. Yeah, and he's functioning now. Uh, he his memory is foggy. There's a lot of issues that uh, are obviously brain trauma. Was he doing like the big ear and just crashed? Well, yeah. they keep pushing it. They keep pushing it. They keep pushing it so that yeah. you yeah, literally like at this have, point. There's no regulation. Yeah, but you, that's yeah. that's the X Games, right? I'm gonna flip my motorcycle. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm gonna flip it twice. Excuse me. Have you seen like just watch the videos of what they do on mountain bikes now? When they when when they they're just on a mountain on a cravat and they're doing shit when they have a camera oh yeah on the trails like this big it's so insane yeah it's well you did some mountain biking for a while right I mean I mean, still mountain biking those not high like level that. guys is the craziest like, shit I go on trails dude it's the craziest yeah. shit I've ever seen in my life I everyone can't believe rides a bike not that <laughs> no it's, <laughs> it's so stupid I mean, I'm like Topanga Canyon <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen that it's so insane yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the POV God. with the GoPro on their head yeah, yeah oh my like, God. and literally they fall it's game over it's game over like those sheep that climb the mountain but they're on bikes they're also I'm like wait that's a cliff where are you going <laughs> oh it's a cliff but I'm going to jump I'm going to land over there I'm yeah. just barely it's insane what? the anxiety from just watching a GoPro oh, fuck okay. you uh, it's <laughs> not for me it's like that, the big surfing guys videos well, yeah. hardcore I don't, I'm I don't like when they jump between buildings and if you fall well you fall for a long time <laughs> fuck you even the squirrel suits I, I don't fuck, fuck with any of that, that. I don't know I'm that. not interested it makes me too nervous Here's a once again snow accident. Uh, Jeremy Renner, just an update. Oh Jesus! He was he, he said he's really banged up, but he was able to have this post here where he showed his face. He doesn't look his face isn't like crazy crazy bad, but his it's body's not, super. It's dead. not good. No, it's not. But ran but apparently, they at least to, he updated. They had to have, like major surgery. Yeah, ran over his body long. and his legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. It's like a fourteen thousand pound snow uh, snow plower. And he was helping like a and pedestrian it, who was like stuck. No, and really. And started going, moving on its own, so he tried to climb back in. And oh, I guess he probably slipped shit. and it ran over. Him. Jesus yeah. Christ! Fuck, dude. My God! But he's like a uh, he's like a real kind of guy's guy, right? He fixes yeah. up homes. He's yes, yeah. He's he's also got some crazy high IQ. 
Like, I think they said something like, so you're, I mean, you're smarter than pretty much every, almost everybody. And he goes, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Like, yeah, he's got this so. crazy genius IQ. Like, yeah. That poor guy, though, man. No. At least, thank God he's okay. He's Wind alive, River yeah. was so good, man. Oh, fuck. God, it's such a good movie. All right, so. I Taylor Sheridan. <sighs> Yellowstone. That dude is so good. Oh, my God. Phil Baroni, ex-UFC strike force guy. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, so he's arrested in Mexico coming in hot. for allegedly murdering his girlfriend. He even ex he explains it as what they she admitted yeah, to him like she was banging some other dude. So so yeah, so they're uh, in Mexico, right? He was in Mexico. He had this his girlfriend. She admitted that she was banging some other dude. Apparently, he beat her so bad he, he killed her. But when the cops got there, he was like, "Yeah, we got an argument. She told me she cheated on me." And I told her, go take a shower, you filthy animal or whatever, because you're dirty. She slipped in the shower. And the cops were like, right. But then why is her entire body covered in bruises and beaten? Oh, my so God. So he's fucked. So this God. says Mexican outlet report Tuesday that Baroni allegedly killed this, uh, his girlfriend inside their hotel room. Um, the report we states that Baroni was under the influence of alcohol and drugs. When the police arrived on the scene, the officers saw the woman li lying naked on the bed, covered with a bed sheet. However, there were marks of beatings and bruises on her face, and she was pronounced dead oh. on the scene. Baroni allegedly told police it was around 3 p.m. when he started to smoke marijuana and drink a beer in his room. When the two got into an argument during the argument, Baroni's girlfriend reportedly told him that she was having sex with another dude. After that, the former UFC fighter threw his girlfriend into the shower. She hit her head on the ground. As Phil Brony's girlfriend was trying to get up, uh, Phil Brony did help her up and then put her on the bed. He proceeded to remove her clothes, put a bed sheet on top of her, according to the report. Brony's girlfriend then asked for a cigarette and a beer, so he left the room to get it. By the time he returned, he noticed his girlfriend was dead. Um, reports state that Brony was arrested for murder. This is a really depressing um, yes, it is. episode, guys. <laughs> It's the Steve, goddamn we were news about, cycle. Usually we have lots oh my of laughs. God. This is Brian's like, like, but did she oh. hit him first? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what a terrible take. God, he looks... <laughs> what a terrible take. Yeah, that's a... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta watch like a Pixar film to like. Uh, I know. The, Don't watch Toy Story four. It's depressing. Oh, I'll cry. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I never. I don't. Toy I Story never, I never watched him fight. I don't know. He's old school. Phil Baroni. Yeah, oh man. Oh fighters. fuck. So much fun to watch. Tan as shit would just stand and bang. Yeah. And speedos. You would have loved him. His body jacked. Yeah. Well. Juicy as hell. I don't love him too much now. Enjoy that Mexican one, one prison. Yeah. One seventy or something. Uh, cat. Yeah, 170. Jesus. Enjoy that Mexican prison. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Yep. You guys see the Indiana Jones trailer? <laughs> oh, is there a new one? But they're doing... There's uh, a new yeah. one? The, see, that's your guy, Brian. Look yeah, at those. that guy's very happy with his tits. He's got a good body. Jesus, look at that fucking caption. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't notice that. The police doing the investigation must look at that caption. Up. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> <laughs> the defense rest, Your Honor. Exhibit and A, we're done here. Thank you. Exhibit A, and we rest our case. Wow. Uh, well, there you go. That's a macho guy. Yeah. Jesus. Um, yeah, but so uh, yeah, let's try and spice it up here. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I need, I'm like, I need I'm more like, whiskey. I'm like, ah. <laughs> but uh, Indiana Jones, they're using uh, uh, computer animation to make him look younger. Yeah, I they hate that shit. The age, but it looks really, it, it looks great. And I'll tell you, Come I on. saw the trailer, and my daughter, who's ten, looked at me and she goes, "Are you crying?" I go, "Are oh, you yeah. still crying over Indiana Jones?" I, I, I was, I was Come like, on. "Hey, get out." <laughs> Come on, let get me out. see it, Steve. Get out. You watch the trailer so we can. You don't talk have a, a sense in the stall. Oh Hold god! But did yeah, you, did you see when they used the computer animated shit on that movie, The Irish? On Netflix? garbage, Horror. garbage. It, was ruined like, the, it ruined the movie. Oh my god, the worst. It was like, why does Robert De Niro have Down syndrome? What is, <laughs> who did this? Let me see this. So we can't play this part, but no, just, no, just watch. play it for us. <laughs> Oh, I'm so fucking in. love it. But Indian can you Jones. so did you use any com computer animated shit? Imagine you come up Antonio Banderas like, yeah, so don't worry about makeup. We're using computers. He's like, for what? Like, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> hey, hey, you know why. He's like, no, I'm good. You know Just give me some makeup. No, no, we're using computer. <laughs> well What do you think of that, Callum? All I'm thinking about is chat GPT. <laughs> You won't shut up about well, that. Well, it's going to change. It's so everything. stupid. Okay. It's, it's, no, it's going to fuck everything up. I, I, I mean, have you, it's going to fuck, you're not using Google anymore. 
I mean, it, it's Brian it's duck, 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 dude. no, it's such a disruptor. What so we, if you're, wait, in, but did you like Indiana Jones? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so get, I'm gonna get to it. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. So, um, do you know what Chat GPT is? No. Do you? Me? Yeah, we talked about it last. Yeah, time, but so. have you like gone? Have you yeah, actually we'll gone down the? We'll uh, golden, yeah, bro, it's it is it when is he sits literally. Style, so if you're if like, you're right, if you're in animation, Here we go. Or if you're in if you're a writer, if you're in animation, if you're in graphic design, basically you're out of a job. If you write code. I mean, people study code for four years. It's, it's, no, we don't need you anymore. It's the craziest shit. In, it's, the, it's literally going to destroy entire swaths of the economy. And it's, it's in its infancy and it's already got more users than any other platform that's ever been used because it's, it's so out of control. This guy was saying, this guy was literally said at, at the, 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 it's so extensive that you could type in eventually. Right. Found me a billion dollar business. Find me. Found, found be a, I want to be a founder of a billion dollar oh, business. Right. Fa, fa, so, so create a billion dollar business. Me? It will go through literally in split seconds every business plan, every Harvard case study, every successful venture, and pull from that and then find what product right now is trending or what's needed or what will be you needed according to all the experts. Hold you on. Still, yeah. Hold on. It'll, it, it'll then go out to a manufacturer and start having that product made. It will, at the same time, come up with digital assets for you. Well, I'm firing my agent. Hold on. <laughs> like, listen to this. Right? Listen to this. A whole marketing agent. thing. It it'll come up fired. with videos for you. It'll then set your bank account up. It'll then set up an e-commerce yeah, thing with Shopify. Trust it that much. But this is literally what they're saying it's able to do. Hey, dude. Or what it will does be able this to have do. to do with Indiana? So, <laughs> so I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. It will be something you can take that script, put the script into chat GPT, and it'll come up with another version of it. It'll come up with the sequel. No, but that one drops June 22nd. And then, it'll, and then it'll take your characters and say, I want a young, I want a young uh, Indiana Jones in Here's this scene. Point. And it'll do it for you. So I'm talking about something that has its own intelligence that, that builds this thing out so quickly that we're all out of a job now. Hold on. People are still going to see, they're to still going to want to see live performance. <laughs> but are still going to go to the movie theater. But as far yeah. as like worrying about special effects, makeup, we got you. We got you. We can just, AI can just do that that fast. Now I want the real guy. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. The real guy? They're gonna make their now. You can make you can make people. You can just make people uh, composites of people, and they talk and they so look is, real. This is the Matrix, dude. Is what you're telling no, me? But but it's fucking okay. So watch Wait, this. So, so I'm a are you designer. seeing Indiana? I'm a, I'm a gra <laughs> I'm a, yes, I'm a graphic designer. Yeah, I'm a graphic designer. Yes, yeah. shit out of luck. Give me. What do you want? What do you want me to? Uh, uh, give me something. Anything you want me to do and make right now? Tell me. Give me. Give me. A uh, circus. Uh, a circus. Well, yeah. well, give me some parameters around the circus. What do you want? From you want a fucking circus? Elephants. You want elephants? Yeah. I want a want, bearded lady. You want a bearded lady? Okay. Do you want a? You want a white chocolate unicorn? Maybe in the distance. No, Fine. it's stupid. I want okay. to make money. Just I'm going to put that in that bar, and I go like this. I go send, and it gives me ten different versions. 10 different versions. Then I go, I want it in Van Gogh, in the style of Van Gogh. Yeah, but online. And it spits out 10 different versions. Yeah, but versions online. Of that. It's like giving you the actual animals at the circus. No, but, but it, can now, it can now give you any image. If you look at what it's doing with virtual reality, where it creates an image that looks so real, so fucking real, mm -hmm. that in, just in its infancy, in two years, you are not going to know the difference between what is real and what is not. Well, hopefully they redo the Irishman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chat GPT. I don't like how worried you are about this. Chat GPT shut up is, is, Chat GPT. is the biggest disruptor since the printing press. Why, 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 if its impact it's, is going to be so significant, yeah. why am I only hearing it Because it just now started from November 30th. They came to get to the Dana White news. It just started <laughs> November 30th. It's, it's about a month old. It's, it's a month uh, old. November 22nd, it said it came out. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, November 30th. And people actually. are using it? Uh, it's got more users in this short period of time than any, any interface ever. It took 41 months for Facebook to get up, you know, to where it was, and this is... It's the fucking craziest disruptor of all time. And to the point where the designer, 
the designer, a 37 year old man, mm -hmm. he just had an open letter saying, this if is bad. we don't have some kind of universal basic income, we are going to be faced with the greatest disruptor because there are going to be entire well, take swaths. it down, fuck face. I got one. <laughs> Hold on. I can't anymore, Bubba. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen Terminator 2? Bubba. He said, I don't Three, know what we're going to do. Four, you a lawyer? We don't five. make it. You want, yeah. you, want, you want medical advice? Okay, you got a disease of some kind? You I'm not go to, to my You computer. just go to Google and you'd go, let me see. What chat, a, what chat GPT will do is you, you put in this disease. What it will do is take anything that's been published Ever. How does it know what's real or fake? And it, 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 knows. it knows. It takes anything that's been, been peer reviewed, any scientist that's ever published anything or spoken about anything, and gleans all that information that and puts too? it. And then you say, give me a simplified version that I can understand. And it'll write it okay, out. Not first. if Mark Zuckerberg gets a hold of it. Well, so the problem is Google is, oh, no. is not, your Google is no good here. Oh, thank God. I ain't using your oh, Google. Oh, thank God. But I'm what if it's wrong? GPT. What if it's wrong? So <laughs> what if all the information it calls no, and it gives you the wrong outcome? No, the problem is that. That's not the it's problem. It's always right. That's not the problem. But I'm suing no, chat. No, no, that's not the problem. Are you saying chat or chat? The chat GPT. Are you saying Chad? Chat GPT. Are you saying chat or chat? Chat GPT. Pan right or there. Pan? Right there. Here's the big problem. Schedule or if schedule. If you put in how do I destroy the planet with a hundred thousand dollars, it will come out with a list of how to do that. That's now why- Now you're gonna have to make the bomb. That's why right. AI has to stop that. Well, who's gonna regulate this, Brian? That's the AI. a big fucking problem. So what Elon Musk, who was one of the early inventor, uh, investors said, is he said, this is the biggest threat we face, but the way to hey, solve it we're trying is to- get to, good news, I don't Brian. care. The way to solve it <laughs> is to have our own AI to protect us from that AI. Yeah. But it is, I'm gonna say it again, November 30th, things will, th that, is a, that is a moment in history that may be the Ryan most significant moment forget. in all of our lifetimes. It is going to change everything. You're a lawyer. This guy was a lawyer. He was a case study lawyer. He, was, uh, he wrote about on, on, you know, he'd spent four years studying. He's a very well-known lawyer. Well-known lawyer. He spent like, uh, spent four years on uh, some kind of a tax policy that's really hard and interesting. Hold on, I'm using it now. Ways to end this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He goes Ask to chat. Chad he goes how to I chat, get out of this he podcast. He goes to chat GB. He goes, write me a paper on this, on these, with these parameters. It was better than anything he'd written in four years and it happened in one minute or so less. He's out of a job. What the fuck? How man? old is he? If you're in college and you want to write a, a paper, you want to write a paper? Give me the subject. Doesn't matter what it is. Irish home rule. Will they all be different though? Like if you and I, let's say we're both in college many years ago, and we're like, man, we get this paper done. We can just type it in. So can you have two different variations? Yeah. Here's what's even my teachers are like, dude. Oh, it's not your vocabulary. No. Here's what's even more fucked up. You say write it in my in my words using. You mean the kind misspell of, things? Using the kinds of words I use. Write it in my voice. Throw in a few bros. Write right. it in my voice. <laughs> yeah. Write it in my voice. Jordan Peterson tried this. He goes. Uh, he put in, he goes, I want, I want maps of meaning, but I want you to cross pollinate the Tao Te Ching and fucking, you know, I'm out. and something else. And it did it and it did it. And he was like, and it wasn't bad. Wait, are we more afraid of this or the robots? This is the robots, bro. <laughs> no, I'm, this, talking, I'm, not, I'm talking physical robots. This is that the San robots. Francisco's using to stop crime. The good news is that these robots, this is going to be robots. They're going to have access to all the skills. Yeah. They're gonna build a house. You just have to buy the land, and they'll build a house, and they'll mine the they'll mine the actual materials right there on site for you. Oh, they will was. make it there, yeah. And they'll, and they'll build it for you, and it'll be really Mexicans cheap. Are like, woo! Oh, it, we're, it's it's it is gonna change everything, and people don't realize it's a tidal wave. It's, hey, Bubba, it's like if you know it's a tidal wave. People know it's a tidal wave, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you guys didn't know. Who's You're not who, scared? No, I know. Who I in just, the media is talking about it. it then? Why is it? Why is nobody addressing this? Everybody is. Everybody other is. than no, everybody is actually talking about it. But it's like it's yeah, nobody saw Fox this coming. Dive in. Nobody this. saw this coming. Nobody saw. Nobody saw this kind of disruption. Elon saw it though, right? If yeah. Well, in this it? is that's what he's been warning about. This is the kind of disruption that actually the genie's out of the bottle, and our lives and everything we know was going to be different. I'm well, telling you, it's going to happen in one year. It's the plot of iRobot. But yeah, I hear you.
It's it's what do, what, all right, Brian. What do we do, dude? This uh, is the worst news than anything. No, I know. <laughs> you got all. I want to know if you're going to see fucking Indiana. Learn Jones. how to make it work for you. We have to figure out how to actually. We're live. Have, you, have you asked it anything? Not yet. I'm afraid. What are you waiting to ask? It? I'm going to put my my whole my. I'm gonna, I have some ideas. It can. It, it's an open open language AI. Has anybody profited off of it yet? Has uh, anybody done something where there's real yes. results where the somebody is, says... The answer to that is yes. That's how I got this studio. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. But be, beside the People invention... People are creating and selling businesses uh, off of this. Yeah. But how dope would it be if like you, marketing firm, firms are screwed too? Oh, okay, I want oh. know the best way to market my oh, right. tour dates yeah. in these cities. Uh -huh. and then, well, this guy created a, a, a YouTube video and I was watching it and I was like, well, well, I mean... You need the, the days of shooting things and the days of editing. That's adorable. The days of, like, I mean, it's unbelievable. The days of that are one person can do a, 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 a YouTube video that'll blow your socks I off. I hate this world. It's unbelievable. Well, it, I think what it's, it's going to do is give depressing. the individual the craziest amount of. Everybody's a genius. Everybody's Jeremy yes, Renner now. Yes. Because yes. they can go to their phone and ask anything yes. and get instant results. And solves and solutions, yeah, and profit from it. So, what's yeah. going to make us stick out? Like, where's the outliers going to come yeah. from? They're going to. So, adapt. the outliers are going to be the ones that ask the best questions. The outliers are going to be the ones that are able to create a platform a, a, on top of this platform, right? So, the 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 biggest thing is, you're going to say, "Well, I got to go shoot this commercial. I got to hire a camera crew. I got to hire editors." And they and somebody will go, "No, you don't." Um, just put it in chat TP. How, when do you need it by in five minutes? I, I'll do that for you right now. There are people that are going to be able to do that and are doing that now. And it's in it. It's, we're in chat GPT one. When we get to chat GPT 100. You, I'm sorry. Are you saying Chad or Chad? Chad, God damn it. Because the guy who created it is Chad. It's, it's, no, the guy who created it is Sam Chad. Altman, I believe. Bring up Sam Altman. The guy's name's Chad Satan. Do people genius. pay to use this thing? It's a fucking genius. Yeah, you got to pay for like the premium. So is the it? company, that's the guy. The company is open okay, AI. Okay, well, I wish don't Chad fixed about him. his hair. Don't say anything about him. He's a genius. Hey, Chad, did you I don't just wake him up? up. That's, that might, I don't want to piss that guy off. Don't, don't pick a fight, Bubba. Be cool. Be cool. Now, all you got to do is how do I cancel someone the fastest? I mean, dude, it's nuts. Well, you fucked this, now, Chad. Now, now, he wants to make the world a better place. Well, he doesn't. Clearly doesn't. Well, he said that he's the one warning. He's the one saying, look, this this has to be handled. This is going to destroy entire swaths of our economy. And he's American? Yes, he is. And he, In uh, your face, Russia. Yep. He's a gay, he's a gay American man. <laughs> That's and, a gay man. And, uh, yep. And wow. he's a genius. He's a fucking genius. Oh, it has to be. And he already had started a company where he sold it for $43 million, but- this is beyond. He's Thirty-seven what is from Chicago. Went to Stanford, and then puts it dropped out. Yeah, he's loser. like, oh, this is this loser. is this is easy. Am I right? Yeah, loser. right. This is easy. <laughs> loser. Unbelievable. Insane dude. He's a genius. Well, he fucked us, but yeah. Well, but if he didn't come up with it, Russia or China would, and then we're super. Well, fun. China's working on it, but China's so worried about it that they have. What they've said is that but you are then, not allowed but to do. Can't they use it then? Well, so China said you're oh. not allowed. Yeah, they're they're trying they're to capitalize right on now. this right now. They're doing that. China, and the next COVID virus. China is saying you cannot, as a you Chinese know. citizen, <laughs> you cannot be involved in this unless you have, unless you can't be anonymous on this. You have to give us your name and address because we need to know where you are. You know, you. But the problem is, you get some evil genius who's like, how do I, how do I destroy the planet uh, in six easy steps? There are there's there's information out there on how to build dirty bombs on how to do all kinds sure. of so it goes even things. the dark it go, it'll get dark web anything that's online, so anything that's the been web. anything that's been on the internet up until twenty twenty one anything Bubba anything it is a true matrix anything is available and it will get it for you this fast and then you and can you say, haven't used it said how do i fix my and, teeth without an invisalign well you should look at that <laughs> because the good thing is scientific discovery scientific discovery is going to be uh multiplied by about a thousand that's the good news it's going to be able to cure cancer that's all that stuff is going to be exponential so there's some pro positives there are he thinks that we're going to have so much free time to do I've the things we want to do. No, 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 I haven't time. slept. Hey, in, fuck your free wait, time. Wait, I haven't slept in You're three days. And I called, people's jobs going to be fucked? I called my friends that are in in this world, like big time you in this world. world. I do have these in friends. In Chad world? Yeah, I do. Chat! 
You don't, you have no friends in chat. It's, I have I have it's friends. Been, I have friends it's been going in, since November. 30th. I have friends in tech and in 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 math and in physics. Big big time people, and all of them are like nobody's sleeping. Nobody's sleeping. They're worried that I can have jobs. They're worried that it is what the Unabomber was warning us about. Have you read his manifesto? No. Wait, what? Some legit what points. What? Besides what? killing people, legit points. Hey, Steve, industrial. Eat, keep eating your McDonald's because. Yeah, dude. This is ser this is I I, I call your last I call I call um, uh, the people that I know that handle so I have family members that 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 have stocks and bonds and stuff like that and I said you got to educate yourself on this because you ha you own pieces of companies that might go belly up in a day if you're not careful if they, they have they technology go, we're 88 no years old Brian. Well, you got to know this stuff because it's going to be a it's there's I people this much smarter than I am I don't follow this. But when I hear people that are really smart saying this is the biggest disruptor we've ever faced, I go, what? Huh? I thought he was going to have good news. We were all, no, I have no I, good news. We got out of it doing the Indiana Jones depressed. thing. Yeah. And you're like, you are, did somebody say hey, Indiana Jones? You a coder? <laughs> you ever heard of Chad GPT? Don't worry GPT? about it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a coder, you don't need to be anymore. It codes for you. In, yeah, in I know, dude. Keep naming time. jobs, man. You're stressing everybody out. I'm so stressed time. about it. But... Oh, I don't give a fuck. For comics, look into it. for comics, human beings, it might be even more. For us, as things become more virtual, people want to see a human being in front of them. They want to actually just go you to can a never theater. Replicate. Yeah. That. Yeah. Live music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's holograms. This is very depressing. Yeah. It can write stand up. It, what were you saying about I heard that. Burt Kreischer. It can write stand up. Yeah. <laughs> it can write. How much fun was Burt Kreischer's show? Did uh, Bert talk to you about Armageddon? Are we, are we done? You can't even. You're turning your back on it. No, the whole world's over. You can't over. turn your back According on it. According to Brian, the whole world's over. Don't turn over. your back on AI. Why would Steve even come in? You guys are a couple hey, ostriches. special? Who gives a fuck? You guys yeah. are putting we your heads. We should all stop. You're putting your heads in the sand, you all ostriches. Stop. Chat DPT. We'll, we'll write chat my next special. Chat GPT. What is it called? Chat GPT. Will, will Chad tell me how to manage my fish? Can we ask it something? Mix in? Fuck Can we ask it fish. something right now? Yeah. Can we ask it something right now? I think yes. we got to pay. Yeah, no, it's, it's free to sign up. But you give up, I heard you give a bunch of information away, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, you have to give so, away like your first you gotta, son. No, no, you don't. Uh, Nick did it. No, oh, I yeah, didn't. Oh, yeah, we did on uh, yeah, Gold. You got to sign just, up. Yeah, you just sign up the way you do for a Gmail. Go ahead account. and sign up. You, let's use your information. Yeah, just, they they already my, know I don't it. Want Bubba. My info. Bubba, they already know it. I don't. I'm not going to put my They already know it. I'm not putting my info. You already. I love how you think your data is not everywhere. It's everywhere. But I don't want to sign up for it is what I'm saying. All your dad is look into it more. I look into it more. Yeah, I'm not, I don't trust it. I don't cool. trust Chad at this point. What, what, who? <laughs> Steve, just the reason we brought you on it's is the only we should thing all just We should stop. just end. We should all stop. It's the only yeah. thing to be thinking about. Hey. Yeah. Are you, are you a cold lead? <laughs> hey. And hey, it writes. No, hey. And it writes. Hey, are you Chad's It writes. It writes fucking. <laughs> it writes. Hey, shut up, plays. man. Scran plays. You can put your screenplay no, in I know. there and it'll Name any business, it. Brian. We've already been over it, dude. Well, what are we going to do? I don't give a fuck, dude. How about that? you just going to ignore hey, it? Hey, hey. Fuck you and Chad. Why me? That? Why me? Chad can suck my cock. No, dude. Can that database suck my cock? Well, if now then you're going to have I'm glad you brought up porno. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up porn. Because Chad GPT. Oh, my God, Oh, fuck Brian. you. Yeah, name any business, Brian. We, I know. We get it. Steve's a smart what, guy. What's it going to do in porn? Digital. Hold Are on. you like Jenna Jameson when do you she's mind? 17? Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Ask me the question again. What's it going to do with porn? Anything you Want. Except big black dicks, <laughs> and that's the business I'm investing in. Only big black dicks. Your move, Chad. You, uh, you, <laughs> you are going to be arrested <laughs> tonight. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. My kids are like, Dad, can I have candy? Whatever, whatever the fuck you want, you want dude. The world's whatever, ending. I, I, according to your uncle Brian, this Chad guy is look, gonna take over the my, world. I looked at my one year old. I go, I don't know what world you're gonna step into. It just sounds overwhelmingly depressing. Yeah, it, but there like are a lot a of people that are very of, positive about it. There are a lot of people that are like, this is the greatest thing. Well, no, and our lives well, no, are gonna be no, incredible. No, no, no. But but, but like everybody. No, because AI is going to I'm also do Harrison things Ford. for us that we don't have to do for ourselves, and it'll free us up 
to be more creative. It'll free us up to do the things we really want to do. So that's the bright but, side. But, but everybody now, yeah. everybody is on an equal plane. That's right. So even the dumbass, exactly. Who's that's lazy, the point. That comic so now, who's lazy can put in jo and write jokes like Steve. So expertise and all that stuff. That's Chad. There, there they are. There they are. That's Chad. That's Chad GPT. Um, you imagine how long he's been doing podcasting? Know. Did you not ask Chad how do I turn my cell phone? I'm off fucked up over this. All the shit. If you say Chad him? one more time, I'm going to come I'm at you. Always call Chad. <laughs> Don't call him I'm Chad anymore. Anti Chad. Don't make hey, him angry. Here's my thing. Fuck Chad. Fuck Tesla. Electric cars. I don't like any of it. I know, but it's here. No, I'll fight it. Bubba, it's the here. resistance is here. Bubba, the resistance. I refuse to use it. Your kung fu is no, no good. You know what's going to be the outliers? The people that don't use it. Oh, I know. Mm. Kung, your kung fu is no good. Here. Someone's going to be like, oh, Chad wrote that. Like, no, actually, I wrote that. And then I go like <laughs> It was this. like, oh, my. Oh. Yeah, and then I go and like you'd this. you'd be like, uh, Chad wrote mine. So you write it, and I go like this. I put it in. I put yours in, and I go, write this but better and disguise it as mine. <laughs> And then put it out in little But I bet clips. there's going to be a watermark. It's going to be like, Chad wrote no, this. Like, put, it out yeah, little little be, put it out in little clips. So there's no, there's nobody regulating this thing Not other than the, the individual the company, that created it. Open AI is regulating it. So they, they're, very aware, they're very aware that people will say, um, how do I create this weapon? How do I kill How do I get people? away with murder? All that. And so, how do I kill Brian Callen? So that, that's going to be something that they monitor. So they say... Yeah, but <laughs> good luck with that. So they yeah. say. Good luck. But then the AI is going to be embedded within the AI. That's you know, right. the AI is protecting itself from itself. This is it's hey, crazy. can we go back to George Lopez? Yeah. No, because it doesn't matter. And how you got fucked over by Conan? What's the larger implication? Is the this. only person the that will understand this is Chris, Christopher Nolan. The, because the, he wrote Inception, and he's yes. the only one that can understand. The, big, the, the biggest, the biggest, movie the biggest, the fucking, <laughs> the biggest mindset, the biggest mind fuck is that. If they're able to do this with AI and you can create images that are impossible to detect whether they're real or not, right? So already they can do deep fakes where they had Obama making 14, 14 different speeches or the, the Obama making a speech and which of the 14 is fake. The, the trick answer was they were all fake. And they no. all looked real. Yes. Wait, this came out recently the, yes, and it was- Yes, it's all, it's all fake. But it looked real. It's going to ruin the internet. Well, the problem that's what is it's do. the problem is so that's that's GPT one. What is GPT one hundred? Now hold on. If if it's that real, why do you think that this is real? Why do you think this isn't a fucking computer program? Like right now, talking. Because I'm not right retarded, here. Brian. <laughs> Fuck you and Chad. Please don't use the R word. <laughs> How do I know? That that's just not. A hey, computer hey, generated hey, you've program. You've gone too deep. Are you, are you doing mushrooms again? Nope. <laughs> nope. He's like, how do we know any of us are real? Both of you, you're going to do a deep dive, and I'm, you're I'm not going to be the same. I'm not. I'm going to wait for somebody else to do the work. You can't do dive it. into it and give me the, the chat for dummies. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. I need to spread on. my misery because I'm a mess. It is depressing. I'm having it's major overwhelmingly anxiety. overwhelmingly depressing hearing How it. much fun was Bird Show? I'm so it sorry, It was a dude. total blast. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I, Absolute blast. I'm going to watch that yeah. just to have fun. You sure it was real? People murdering. Domestic violence. God, the world's going to end. Man, it's been great being here, guys. He hated on Indiana Jones. We were all yeah. excited about. I fucked up, didn't I? I did. Your take on Dana was awful. Uh, I, you know no. what? I just Steve's crying. Get him an apple pie. Oh, Get him boy, an apple. Boy, was Dave over. Rubin wrong? Don't burn this country. No, let's burn it. <sighs> After hearing Brian Callen. <laughs> yeah. I can get a summary of that book right now on ChatGPT. Sure. Well, why even bother writing books anyway? Well, that's an interesting question. It's not, though. No. Yeah. Well, well that's the end of this well, show. I that, Look, I go watch, that go watch Steve's uh, special. <sighs> it's probably the last one that Chad's not going to write. Yeah, it's... Uh, and it, it might not even be me. <laughs> it's might not really me. How do I know it's not me? You're on Ontario Improv Great Club. Uh, this weekend, Ontario yep. Improv, 5th through the 7th. Then you're in Fairfield Theater Stage 1, Fairfield, Connecticut. Then you're at the 3C Bowl in uh, New York. Where's that at? Teresa? Mm -hmm. Teresa, New York, yeah. And then you're at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club in Vegas, Funny Bone, Cincinnati, uh, Punchline, Atlanta, great club. And then uh, Jimmy Kimmel, you're back at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. Can't get enough. Bricktown Comedy Club, great one, February 10th through the 11th. Funny Bone Syracuse. Oh, you're grinding. Boy, you're back in Vegas again. Yeah, I'm doing a residency. At oh, Jimmy gotcha. Kimmel. So it's every other Thursday. Um, I oh, start nice. How's next that? week. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm start I'm I'm gonna do a 
I, I don't want to just do a show. Yeah. Like I just don't. Wanna, it, it's like Vegas, so I'm going to do a show called New Year's Steve, where every show you come to, we ring in the New Year. <laughs> That's fucking great. So we're going to have the oh, LED yes. screen. We're going to do a oh, countdown. Yes. And we're going to celebrate New Year's every night. At 12 o'clock. Uh, it could be 8.55. Oh, it, it's yeah. up to Chad. That's Chad GPT decides GPT the time. To tell me what it's time it is. up to Chat GPT. Chad, yeah. Sure. And you guys are going to be in trouble for calling <laughs> Chat GPT. No, Chad's Chad. just so much. It just rings off the tongue. How I'm so, they, af I'm so afraid. Come up with that? I'm so afraid. I don't shut up about it? it? Would I you just shut your piper for it? All right. I don't want to go to Vegas. I'm in Vegas this weekend. If hey, you're, there you uh, go. If you're going to talk to me about Chad, don't come. It's January 5th through the 7th. That's this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wise Guys, Vegas. And then I close the month in Tampa, January 20th and 21st. Tampa, Florida. Uh, Tampa Improv. And then first week of February, Springfield, Missouri. And uh, a bunch of other dates on there. I guess get your tickets at thickboy.com. If you want that sweet uh, nectar, that Chad's going to make a better uh, whiskey. Get your um, Tiger Thick Whiskey before Chad makes his own. San Diego, California, Mike Drop Comedy Club, January 5, 6, and 7. That's Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Mike Drop, new comedy club in San Diego. I'm excited. Fort Wayne, Indiana, Summit Comedy Club, January 13, 14. That's a Friday, Saturday in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Dania, Florida, Dania Improv, January 19, 2021, 20, Edmonton, Canada. I'll see you at the comic strip, February 23, 24, 25. Ooh. Ugh. Man, it's gonna be cool. Steve, we love you, man. Go watch Thank your you special. Guys. Thank it's you fantastic. very much for having me. It's, it's going to be Amazon cool. Prime right oh. now. One of the best doing it. Steve, we love you, buddy. Love you guys. Thank you so much for Sorry having me. Sorry about the whole chat. Awesome. Uh, your, your, your special is fucking awesome. All Thank you, my friend. Yeah, we tried, man. Love All you guys. Right. This is, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Sorry. <laughs>